this video, we're going to go over integrating OpsGenie in AWS CloudWatch. This native integration can be set up in minutes. I have my AWS Management Console and OpsGenie account open in two separate tabs so I can easily demonstrate what needs to be done on each end of the integration. From the AWS Management Console, I'll head to the SNS dashboard and create a topic. OpsGenie should be the topic name. Once that's complete, I'll head to the Add New Integrations tab in OpsGenie and select AWS CloudWatch to copy the API key. From the AWS SNS dashboard, I'll create an HTTPS subscription. Make sure you change the protocol to HTTPS and paste the OpsGenie API key into the endpoint field. On the OpsGenie side, I'll name the integration, assign it to the best team, in this case the DevOps team, and ensure that it's enabled. If you have multiple EC2 instances in different regions, the Advanced tab is a great tool. Here, you can specify the region to better utilize tags, filtering, and reporting, and also make sure that the alerts are routed to the proper teams. From the AWS Management Console CloudWatch dashboard, I'll create an alarm under EC2 metrics. In this case, I'll choose CPU utilization and create a low threshold for the purpose of demonstration. You have the option to create an alarm for three possible states. OK, which is within the threshold, alarm, which means that the metrics are outside of the threshold, and insufficient data. For this example, I'll only create an alarm for the alarm state. You can pass all three types of alarms to OpsGenie and use our powerful rules engine to route the urgent alarms to the right people immediately and keep the informational alarms for logging purposes. In regard to CPU utilization, we treat missing data points as breaching the threshold because it indicates that something is likely wrong. Select OpsGenie in the Send Notification field. Go to the SNS dashboard and select Request Confirmation. An informational alert will then come through to the OpsGenie Alerts page to confirm that the integration was successful. Here you can see the Slack notification. If you have Slack or another chat ops tool configured, you can respond to alerts directly from the tool. Your integration is now set up and you can start receiving alerts from AWS CloudWatch. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit the resources page.